Azerbaijan continued firing in the direction of the southern border of the Republic of Armenia, the defense minister reported Tuesday afternoon. The border troops, however, have taken measures to prevent the Azerbaijani encroachments in the southern direction of Armenia, causing considerable damage and losses to the adversary. The Azerbaijani side was using drones too in that direction. And the Artsa Nagorno-Karabakh Defense Army has released another video showing the Azerbaijani armed forces continuing to suffer losses of manpower and military equipment. In the meantime, footage was published of the adversary targeting the border of Armenia, whereas the Azerbaijani side denies this. The Karabakh Defense Army published new lists of servicemen, reservists and volunteers who died in battles while repelling the Azerbaijani aggression. Accordingly, as of Tuesday afternoon, the respective death toll has exceeded 1,000. There are 17 Armenian servicemen who have been taken prisoner by the Azerbaijani side. The data related to two more military and civilian persons are being clarified. The Armenian side is working with the ECHR. Petitions have been submitted for the provision of measures aimed at providing medical care and protection of life and health. Some of these petitions have already been approved and the others are under consideration. The involvement of any country in the settlement of the Nagorno-Karabakh conflict must be agreed with Armenia and Azerbaijan. Russian presidential spokesman Dmitry Peskov said this when asked whether Turkey should be more involved in the next round of peace talks on the Karabakh conflict, TASS reported. Only the point of view of both sides is important here. We mean of the conflicting countries, Azerbaijan and Armenia. Only the conflicting countries can reach an agreement or want the participation of this or that state in this settlement process, the Kremlin spokesman said. Iranian Deputy Foreign Minister for Political Affairs Abbas Arakhchi on Tuesday arrived in Parsabat Mohan Airport in northwestern province of Ardabil to visit areas bordering the Nagorno-Karabakh conflict zone, Iranian news agency reported. He noted that the Iranian water reservoir dam and electricity installations are of prime significance and should not be damaged during the aforesaid conflict. The Deputy Foreign Minister visited Mildoran Dam in Aslandus, Ardabil province, and then departed for the other Iranian bordering province of East Azerbaijan to visit the installations there. Iran has warned the warring parties over landing of several mortar and artillery rounds in Iranian border towns, and the Islamic Revolutionary Guard Corps ground forces have been deployed in the border cities with Azerbaijan and Armenia to guarantee the security of Iranians living in border cities.